Hi guys. So we are here for day two of Vlogmas, even though we're kind of recording this consecutively since we started late. But we are here to give you a throwback video with um, a video from 2016 that I made um, on how to wrap really oddly shaped gifts. And if you want to see that, I'm going to put the link in the description. No, sorry, I'm not. In the description, I'm going to let you know um, at what time spot to go to if you want to wrap just those weirdly shaped gifts. But first, I'm going to start off with showing you how to turn those really nice paper store bags into gift boxes. So that one is pretty cool. And let's get started. So what we're going to need is the bag and then we're going to cut it along the top. We're then going to cut down each side and we're going to fold the sides in and tape. After that, we're going to seal the top together and we have our bag. Hi guys. So that was the first part of the video, which I showed you how to create a little gift box out of a store bag. So it works best if it's like one of the paper bags, as you can still cut down the sides and you can tape it together and seal it closed and it's perfect. So I've been doing that for a few years. That post was probably from like 2014, 2015, and I grabbed the pictures from my site, which is newmommybliss.com. And I put them in here for the video. Now, the next part of this video, you may have already seen because I do have it on my YouTube channel. But if you haven't, then here it is. I show you how to turn um, gift wrap into gift bags, which is perfect for the oddly shaped items. And in case you just don't feel like wrapping it or so to say, it's easier to just create a bag, toss the stuff in, close it up call it a day so without further ado here's the rest of the video I've cut it short so if you've seen the original video you're gonna realize there's a lot of parts I cut out I'm gonna show you how to make a gift bag out of wrapping paper because it's ridiculous to have to go to the store to get a gift bag when you have a whole bunch of wrapping paper. I shared a f I know there's a few of these videos going around obviously from a few years back um, but being that we're getting close to December and we're still wrapping all the gifts right now I wanted to have my own little video to show you how easy it is to do. So the first thing we're gonna do have your stuff ready so I'm gonna make a bag to put all my daughter's um, blind bags and Shopkins that so I just So what I'm gonna do grab your tape um, what you're gonna do you're gonna bring it together in the middle now depending on how you want your bag to lay you're either gonna put it this way or you're gonna put it the long way and go like that the long way is best for if you have um, some tall stuff and you know that works but I'm gonna put it the wide way so that I don't know. I don't have a reason, but I just want to do it this way. So you're going to bring it to the middle like that. You can overlap it just a little bit and you're going to tape it. You're going to tape it from the top to the bottom. Okay, so let me put tape on mine. Okay, so after you tape down the middle, um, I'm doing this one-handed, so I made a few creases just to make it easier for me. But you're going to cut the bottom, try to make it even, because if it's uneven, it's going to be a little more difficult to create the, um, the cuts and the imprints. I mean, not the imprints. That word that I'm looking for that I don't remember right now. So um, what you're going to do, you're going to kind of like open it up and form it like you know try and get a square bottom or a diamond shaped bottom so again it's flat like this what you're gonna do you're gonna pick it up in the middle and you're gonna join the sides down like this okay so once you do that 
um, you can put one piece of tape in the middle, just in the middle. I don't, you don't really need it um, around the oh, way down. You don't need the whole thing, only because you still have to fold it once more. So, I'm going to get a piece of tape. Okay, and I'm going to place it in the middle. Okay. So try and get it to overlap a little in the middle so it doesn't get caught on the rest of the paper. What you're going to do, you're going to fold down the top triangle. You're going to fold it down to the middle. And then you're going to repeat with the bottom half. Just... You can do it as big or as little as you want. The bottom, it all just depends on where you fold it and how you fold it. So you're gonna do that. Now, this is where you're gonna tape it. You're gonna tape it down, uh, one large tape right here, and then the sides kinda to protect it so it doesn't bottom out. Um, but these bags are more designed, not let's say no wine bottles, because you don't want that to smash. But you can do it like this for, you know, blind bags or plush animals. Oddly shaped gifts, basically. Anything that's an odd shape that you can't wrap, you can definitely put it in one of these bags. So let me tape this down. Okay, so now that we've taped down uh, the bottom of the bag, you're going to put your hand in and pretty much just open up the bag. Oops. This is a reversible um, uh, wrapping paper, so it's pretty awesome. But see the inside? It's so cute. But yes, yeah, so basically, we're going to open it up like that. You're going to put your hand down on the bottom just to kind of open it up. And then you're going to fill it to your heart's gonna desire. Give me a second. <laughs> so basically you take it and you can put it together and then roll it down. You can roll it down to your heart's content. And you can even kind of layer it to where the top of the whatever gift is inside. And then roll down the bottom and add just a little tape uh, to make sure it sticks like that. And do same on the other side and then you're gonna have a really awesome gift and being that it's obviously odd shapes this is great for blind bags for mini zoom zooms or plush things for basically anything that's an odd shape to put inside so